So what I discovered that I think is very fascinating is that the way that dust particles are created in dust storms is very similar to what happens when you, you take a drinking glass and you drop it on, say, your kitchen floor. Um, so when you, you break the, the drinking glass, what happens is that the, the impact on, on the floor um, creates cracks in the drinking glass. And these cracks, they propagate in the glass and uh, they, they merge and then they create fragments. And that's why you have a wide distribution of, of fragment sizes, shard sizes, when, when this glass breaks. Now when dust particles are emitted in dust storms, um, it's essentially a very similar process. Uh, what happens is, is uh, wind picks up uh, sand grains, sand particles, that you find, for example, on the beach or on a dune, and these sand particles, they start bouncing around, driven forth by the wind, and when these uh, sand particles strike the soil, it essentially cracks the soil, much like the drinking glass cracks when it hits the kitchen floor. And when the soil cracks, it creates dust particles, um, and this is where dust in, in dust storms come from. Now, what I discovered specifically is that uh, both the, the glass breaking and the dust particles being created from the soil cracking follow something called scale invariance, which is a beautiful process in nature uh, that creates order out of, out of chaos. See, these uh, interactions that create the, the, the shards of, of, of glass and the fragments of dust are very complex. We don't understand uh, the details of, of all these interactions. But despite the enormous complexity of these processes, nature essentially creates a very simple distribution of, say, small, medium, and, and large uh, particle sizes. And that distribution turns out to be very similar for, for glass breaking and for dust particles being created in dust storms. Now, by using this observation, um, that dust uh, particles created in dust storms are so similar to, to glass breaking, I was able to derive a very simple equation of what the sizes of particles in dust storms are. And when I compared this to, to measurements, um, to my surprise and, and of course delight, um, it matched measurements almost exactly and did a much better job than, for example, what climate models and, and weather models assume. And so by implementing this simple equation into climate and weather models, it, it should be possible to uh, better predict what the climate and weather over, uh, over desert uh, regions or dusty regions are going to be, such as the, the U.S. Southwest or uh, the Sahara in, in North Africa.